Yeah, I just want to be the greatest. It's your boy High Five Vega back again, and this time we're updating the one not shootout, the one not cheat sheet, our continual quest to find the best value one not wire out there. We have two contenders today, so let me show you who we got. We're going to start off with the Limitless Lithium 10 one not OFC. This wire definitely seems like it's the business. The second wire we're testing is the DC Audio one aught. This wire is also tinned OFC and it too is pretty thick. So I think we're gonna have a nice little shootout here and who knows, these may come out towards the top of the list. The price on each one of them was about $4 a foot. So without further delay, I think it's time to go ahead, cut these open. Let's see how much copper we have per six inch length. Then we'll update the one not cheat sheet and we'll see who lands towards the top with these two new contenders. I wanna start off with the flexibility test first. Let's see how flexible the DC Audio one not is. As expected, it's very flexible, no problems whatsoever there. Onto the Limitless Lithium. It feels very flexible as well. Much like most car audio wire, it is very flexible. Both of these pass the test, no problem whatsoever. Uh, definitely more flexible than your average welding cable. We'll start off by getting the total weight of the six inch length of DC audio wire. 109.4 grams. Now I'll go ahead and cut the jacket off. We'll separate the copper from the jacket and weigh both of them. All right, let's see how much copper we have in here. 84 grams even. Let's see how much the jacket weighs now. 25 grams. Let me check the overall thickness. 17.75 millimeters. Now we'll check the jacket thickness. 3.47 millimeters right in the middle. We'll go to the outside. 3.32. Go to the other outside, 3.6. So we do have a little bit of uniformity differences. We're gonna call it 3.3 millimeters. And the overall thickness is 17.4 millimeters. So as you can see, this one does have a little bit of uniformity issues. It's just ever so slightly thinner on this side than it is on this side. Now let's check out the Limitless Lithium, see how much overall weight is. 101.2 grams. Let's check the overall thickness. 17 millimeters. Now I'll cut it open, separate the jacket, and we will see how much copper it holds within. Let's see how much copper the Limitless Lithium has in it. 77 grams even. And let's check the jacket weight. 24.2 grams. Now I'll check the jacket thickness and we'll see what we have there. Right in the middle, 3.3 millimeters. Go to the outside edge, 3.5 millimeters and the other outside edge 
3.12 millimeters. We're gonna call that 3.3 millimeters. Let's check the uniformity on this piece here. So as you can see, there are some uniformity issues. It's thinner on this side than it is on this side. So both of these had basically the same issue as uniformity. It's not terrible because you definitely have enough to protect the wire, but it is a little bit out of round. It's time for my final thoughts, and we're gonna start off with the Limitless Lithium right here. The Limitless actually did pretty well, ended up in the number 12 spot. It's definitely an oversized cable. At $4 a foot being tinned, I think that uh, this is a pretty solid value and you definitely wouldn't be doing yourself wrong by picking up this wire. Of course, I've got the cue cards ready. It had 77 grams of copper. It was 101.2 grams overall. The jacket thickness was about 3.3 millimeters. It was a little bit ununiformed, uh, exactly like the DC audio. So if that's a major concern, uh, you might want to look elsewhere. But in my opinion, that's not a huge concern because it's barely, barely off. And it just had one little thin spot. So for $4 a foot, could I recommend this wire? Absolutely. With it being 10, I think it is a very good value. Now we're on to the DC audio wire. It is also a tinned wire, but this one is a thick boy. This one landed in the number five spot with 84 grams of copper, putting it just below sky high and just above full tilt. So this is definitely an oversized wire. You're getting into the two watt American wire gauge type of wire right here. The overall weight was 109.4 grams. The overall thickness was 17.4 millimeters, and we had 3.3 millimeters in the jacket. This one also did have a small, out of round, you know, thin spot than the other. But like the Limitless, it definitely has enough jacket to cover what you need to cover, and I don't think that's going to be a major concern. But if it is for you, you might want to check out another wire. And at $4.40 a foot, I can definitely recommend this wire. It is a nice wire. You will not be disappointed if you pick this up. So I'm gonna leave a link to the one Not Cheat Sheet in the description below. Check that out. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about these wires, what wires I may have left out because I'm trying to basically cover everything I can. Make sure you check out the one Not Cheat Sheet first because quite often I get a comment on a wire I have already tested. At this point, I have tested 35 brands of one Not wire. That's pretty extensive, but I know there's some out there I'm missing. So again, let me know in the comments and I'll try to pick them up. If you might have a one foot length that you're willing to send for a test, uh, I'd be happy to receive that and, and put it on the list if I haven't already tested it. So with all that being said, I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch. Like, subscribe if you are not subscribed. Give your boy that subscription. If you like stuff like this, hit the bell so you're notified when I do a wire test, when I do an amp dyno, when I do a live stream, when I do all kinds of fun stuff. So those of you that are always in the comments, I do appreciate each and every one of you. And I want to hear your thoughts about this wire and the one out cheat sheet in general. With all that being said, I hope to catch each and every one of you on the next video. I want to give a shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to the $6 or more members, 2001 Monolithic, G Nava, Joaquin Juarez, El Fuego, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Boxboy Audio Sound Solutions, Jesus Tires, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Scott Dilbeck, D. Stewart, Aaron Waltz, David Koslick, Scott McCord, Matthew Tolberg, DBO Bass, and Corey D. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and help me reach my first goal of $200 a month so I can do a Patreon exclusive monthly podcast. If any of this sounds interesting to you, check me out at patreon.com slash high five vega.